I'm here on vacation. Thanks to unions across the nation. I got my 40 hour work week. All the things we reap over time. Minimum wage. All the beautiful things we have today are union paid. Oh, yes. I feel blessed. Thanks to all the union brothers and girls and to the east, to the west, giving it up. Getting them dirty hands and that clean money. Bring it home and getting some of that good honey. I'm going to flex. Now who's next? You see a smile and I think you're in denial. I'm bringing this line and the truth all to the old and to the youth. I give the knowledge of you know. And if you see what's gonna go in kicking flows in Fresno from Clovis to Sanger, I think you can manage. But Madera fantasies, I see this only to be and the lesson you learned. I don't know. I think I'm gonna call it quits there. Boom. I don't think I freestyle rapped the whole thing for a long time. See here, got my this one here. Boom, sweet. Checked it out. I like that. Here, let me go talk to somebody. Ah, oh. yeah, beautiful day. Beautiful day. Labor Day weekend. It's a Friday. <clears throat> I'm home during the day, thanks to my union. I'm an IBEW union electrician on top of the many, many, many things that I do. But um, that is my, I would say, my main title since that pays all my bills. You know, I would not claim to be anything else, but right now a union electrician and well, podcaster and the other things I do. But I'm not putting that on my title yet until they pay, pay me. Anyways, ah, excuse me. I just had some uh, Shiva's Regal, Regal um, iced tea. Pretty dang good. No ice. I just had in a small little shot glass. I didn't want a bunch of it. But um, shout out to um, everybody out there. Alaska. I was looking here. I got my computer out here. Um, I was looking here at all the places that we are popular in, which is um, ironically super popular in the um, Alaska area. Everybody loves us in Alaska. So. I'm pretty stoked about that. Here we go. Buttsprout. Boom. That's where we host our stuff. Buttsprout. Shout out to Buttsprout. If you guys can sponsor us, I really appreciate that one too. Here, let me get an angle change here. So I'm doing double duty here. Boom, boom, boom. That's at multiple angles. It's our close up. But yeah. Anyways, uh, Anchorage, Alaska. They give us, I'm going to say, 13% of our downloads. <clears throat> That's a lot for one little city there. It's a big city. Let me say that. Uh, to us, biggest city we got. Um, my hometown here, Clovis, California, they're 11%. Uh, that's how many people, or not people, but percentage of people listen to our podcast. 11% of them here in my hometown, San Jose, California. Now, I do a lot of work there. I have a lot of union brothers there, and I am able to talk to a lot of people. So when they see me on job sites, they're like, I like what that guy's saying. Or they're like, fuck that guy. You know, Either way, fan's a fan, right? So, uh, <laughs> um, look here. Um, so yeah, uh, eight nine percent of ourself are I mean our downloads are here in United States with, um, I think it was something like uh, let me see, six percent of our downloads are in Europe, and then one percent per other continent spread out the you know um, the world. So uh, yeah, West uh, uh, Virginia, Washington, they got a four percent of our listens. Uh, Texas, we got some buddies out there, huh? Ohio, Los Angeles. There we go. Now we're taking. So, hey, I also, I was want to reach out to the fans. You know, who are you? I would love to see who you guys are. Um, hit us up. You know, we have legendspodcasting.com. You can get on there and contact us. I want to know who you guys are. Send a picture. Um, Instagram. You know, hit me up on Instagram at Lion the Truth or at Legends Podcasting. Any either of those podcastings we are up. Uh, those Instagram pages would love to hear from you, see who you are, know what kind of people we have out there. Um, send me a picture, just flip, fuck you. I'll just listen to you just so I can yell at you. I'm like, oh, sweet. Sound like my ex wife. <laughs> no, that's not true. Um, let me let me get here. So let me do a bit wider angle. Boom. Ta da. So, anyways, um, topic, yeah. Shout out to them. Um, Tahoe. I just came from Tahoe a couple weeks ago. It was really smoky, it wasn't burning yet. But it was really smoky to the point where the gondola was closed. So we were heading up to Heavenly to get on. They have an awesome roller coaster. I highly recommend all those things if they're still there. 
um, Tahoe is a beautiful place, and it's kind of like, um, it's almost like it's isolated from the rest of America, even though it's super, super pricey, you know, um, it seems like, uh, you know, the water's green, people take care of shit, people care about stuff, you know, it's like just a whole different kind of, of vibe, you know, um, when Las Vegas would, I would say is a microcosm for America, it is hog wild people are having fun people are having a great time luckily and uh people respect each other but you know it's wild there's piss everywhere man not saying it should happen but vegas needs a flood just wash all that piss off for a little bit man there's piss everywhere i see girls walking barefoot girl you're gonna lose a toe what are you doing walking barefoot through vegas man that's gross anyways yeah so um, Tahoe, Vegas is beautiful. Life is booming. Things are happening everywhere. Um, <laughs> things are maybe not so booming in the Texas Taliban area. Um, Texas is making it, um, they're like, you know, uh, I got so used to the standards over in Afghanistan. We're going to make that happen here in Texas. I, I can imagine Joe Rogan's not so happy about this. You know, <clears throat> he's going there, he's bringing his money. He's trying to open a comedy club. You know, every state has, um, money vested in for like a, a a pro state campaign california i know we've had one it said something like we're from california blah 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 but like arnold schwarzenegger was on there actors um athletes um bunch of people who are artists people from california were all in this campaign i can't imagine they did it for free they probably got paid something right off something happened you know so don't think any other state is different or you know it's taking joe rogan so he might not get paid, but you think that he didn't get an extremely big tax break for taking all his company over there. You know, he's paid some kind of taxes of some sort, buying property, bringing more people in there, trying to get the population up, opening a comedy club. I'm pretty sure they're going to work with you somehow, some way. And then you're going to obviously, because you want your, um, your, you want your, your state and your business to be so, uh, pro you're going to keep on pushing it. I mean, you're going to say how beautiful it is unless you listen to Tim Dillon and he might tell you a little bit more of the truth. Depends, you know, but Tim Dillon, he tells you about what Austin, Texas looks like and all those other places. Um, I don't live there, so I can't really give you a point of view. And uh, obviously I'm giving you a repeat version of what they're saying. But I've ta- I said this before, Joe Rogan's going to be back in California or at least out of Texas by his birthday. But um, his birthday passed, but I can't imagine he's going to make it out there to 2002 he will not be out there in 2002 no way um i think if larry elder gets put in there in california i think the republican party will probably donate money to him to try to get him to go back to california to say hey look if we go republican we get people in here but um it's crazy because he's actually a democrat he votes democrat but you know hey people have their ploys but um you know everybody here from that says that uh texas is uh not like what it sounds like on a podcast that's why only the people who, uh, they're, they're funny comedians they are probably, you know, making, you know, okay money for whatever they're doing, but they're still struggling and maybe they have a big, big, um, like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Tom Segura and he has your mom's house, whatever it is. They're about to get a big payday. So obviously if they're about to get a big t- payday, live in Texas for a little while, get that tax break because they can live anywhere. They don't have to actually stay there full time, be like Herschel Walker, live in Texas all the time, then run for city council in Georgia. And it's like, you know, don't even have an existence anywhere. And say, well, I live wherever I want to vote at, you know, so, you know, move around, do what you want to do. You know, speaking of Texas, by the way, the Texas Taliban, like I was trying to say, you know, it's crazy. Like, um, people always talk about like how much freedom you have, but you know, if you listen to Rogan back in the day and Rogan now, they aren't smoking weed anymore. Uh, they're not doing acid, not I mean taking mushrooms or any of that thing because it's all illegal there. It's very strict. It's super hardcore controlled. You want to talk about rules and regulations? Texas has a bunch of them. The only place they don't have rules and regulations is when it comes to guns. But everything else it is fucking locked down, religious. Like, I'm surprised they're not a dry state. But, you know, sinners will sin. You know what I mean? But anyways, uh, you know, they got just getting rid of the abortion thing where you're turning actually uh, citizens into the bounty hunters to bust these people with abortions. I, you know, check this out. Let's go all in. Let's go all in on this Texas Taliban. Let's make condoms illegal. Vasectomies illegal. Jerking off illegal. Those kids that you're laying on your stomach, you know, you were going to 
bust in a, in, a, in a napkin or you could have impregnated some woman, but you were at home by yourself in your basement jerking off to you porn on your phone and you bust it on your stomach. Those, those future babies didn't have a choice to die on your belly. They didn't want to die there. They did not want to die there. <laughs> you buy that? Um, I always think I'll be acting. Acting. Ha ha. Um, let's try again. Ready? And scene. Ready? One, two. Those kids, when you were jerking off, they didn't have a choice. They were semen. They wanted to have a future in the United States government system. But you just wasted them away. You didn't impregnate a woman. You just let them die in your belly. <laughs> Insane. Okay, so yeah, so make all that shit illegal. Vasectomies, jerking off, um, condoms. You know, I'm pretty sure Jesus does not allow condoms. Jesus, I'm pretty sure Jesus said, "Thou shalt not jerk off and bust nuts on your belly." I mean, I'm pretty sure he did not like that. You know what I mean? That might have said, you know, maybe that's what it was. Don't lay with with man because lay down, he bust on. Oh my God, there's men all over me and women, possibly. You know, um, <clears throat> so, uh, stupid, you know, like, this already happened once. I think women did try to, uh, pass a law. I think it was Texas, too, because they were trying to get these abortion things. You know, you, how can you play both sides? And so I was on the radio today, and they were talking about how can you be, um, pro jab, which I'm going to talk about that, too, because that's like the dumbest thing. You want to, you want to know how you're controlled? Use the words that they make up. Say jab. If you say jab, you are. You don't need a chip. They don't have to chip you. They can just talk to you and you'll repeat the things that they tell you to say, you know? So if you're saying jab, they got you. They got you, okay? So anyways, um, they, why do people try to compare stuff? It's so stupid. So you're trying to compare, um, it's hypocritical to force you to have a vaccine but it's, you know, against the jab. Okay, it's one of all, if someone has an abortion, there is no economic or social impact in our community. Okay? If someone has an abortion, more than likely you don't know about it. More than likely, if you're the age of 45, you know at least 10 people, or sorry, yeah, you know 10 people that had an abortion that you had no idea they did. Lots of people out there have done this. I mean, all the time. And they're more than likely, they're probably Christians, just percentage-wise. I mean, this is how things work out. They're not a bunch of fucking atheists. You know, there's only a small portion of atheists. You know what I mean? And usually if you're an atheist, you have some kind of common sense and critical thinking. You're not following some kind of book. I mean, so therefore, you're probably going to actually have some better sexual protection. Unless you're waiting for Jesus to stop you having a baby, you know? So, anyways. Whew, and breathe. What are we talking about? Abortions. Man. So, I looked this up. This is a crazy number, right? I want to start talking about some of this stuff. I need to find some shit out. So I looked up um, how many women are sexually abused and raped every year. About a half million. Of course, they're not all impregnated. Let's say 25% of them got impregnated. That, mean, that means half of them got raped. The other half were just sexually abused, which I don't know why I just said just. So were sexually abused. And then um, half of them got impregnated. They would have to have the baby. So you want to talk about hypocritical? Okay, that's it. The, the social impact of these people forced to have the babies either through rape or they're poor or they have a career or they're in college or they're immature or they got knocked up by a dude who's not going to participate in his part. I mean, supposedly, like they say about gun laws, they already have gun laws and they don't work. They already have laws that try to make dudes pay for their babies and they don't work. Dude still ain't paying for the babies. So let's try to fix this situation somewhere somehow. So back to the abortion comparison, okay? So the vaccines, you're supposed to get vaccinated, supposedly, because you are a burden to society, right? Your freedom ends at your fist, and my freedom starts at my face, right? That means that if you can stop breathing on me, or just stop breathing in general, just stop breathing, I'm cool with that, then that's where you don't have to get vaccinated because, you know, that's where it ties in there. You know what I mean, but I'm not a doctor. None of this is true. This is all hypothetical and this is all satire and comedy. So please don't cancel my channel. <clears throat> but back to what I was saying is that's where the comparison is economic and social impact. Okay. That's what we're trying to focus on, right? Economic and social impact. 
you know, there's already a bunch of rules and regulation. If you're a Christian, you have a Bible and you have Ten Commandments and you have all kinds of rules and regulations according to your Bible, what you're allowed to do, what you, when you're allowed to do it, when you're allowed to eat, what you're allowed to drink, when you're allowed to all the stuff, when you're allowed to everything. Okay? Then you're here in America, we have a constitution, we have a set of rules and guidelines and minimums, things that you have to do. And then you have your own city and state rules and regulations. And then if you're in a marriage, you have your own house rules and regulations upon that. So it just continues all the time. And if you get a job, they're going to give you a, a book of policies too. So <clears throat> you tell me in that group of things that just happened where your fucking freedom is, okay? I don't want to have any conversations about this anymore. People come on talk about, you're taking off freedom, taking, bro, bro, look where you're at, bro. Look, the only people out here who are free are the homeless people, and you hate them. You hate the, the homeless people. They ain't paying taxes. They don't. Have, they can live where they want to do. They're doing drugs. They're partying. Not doing drugs. They're crazy. They, they're in third dimension. You know, they're in spirit world. Wherever they're at, they're doing what they want. They are free as can be. The freest people in the country. And the Republicans are saying, lock those people up. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm for homeless people. I just want to point out the hypocrisy of the words you're using in the conversation that we're having. We need to fix these things and have true honest solutions obviously we need for help you know uh, homeless people we need to get mental health back on the in the system and then start getting mental health on people uh, at a younger age not when they're 18 not when they're 21 not when they're 30 not when the problem exists let's stay ahead of it you know so anyways back to abortions okay you having people have abort it's not a, a fun thing it's not something you want to do it's not something like it's not like you know my choice was either you know have a baby or have abortion. Good choice. No, it's like, fuck, what am I going to do? I don't want to have an abortion at all. If I don't, this baby, I can't have it. But man, this is the worst thing I ever have to do. I'm so sad. You know, it's not like you're going to go get your card. I'm like, this is my fifth abortion. This, I guess it'd be four, every six weeks, right? Boom. I better meet that six week process. Or obviously, I guess if the, the, if the time would be six weeks, let's, let's, let's beat this. Let's play, let's play the system. Okay. You, you can only get an abortion. And within six weeks, then wouldn't these girls just get an abortion once a month? Fuck it. Just, you know, fuck birth control once a month. That's another thing too. The government doesn't want to have pay for birth control. This is fucking crazy. I mean, I don't, they, that's, that's their state. They want to be crazy and do crazy shit. Let them do crazy shit over there in Texas. I always say, let, let those people shine. You know, the, the things they want to do. If we're going to do dumb stuff here, like, we deserve to be seen like let me use by an example, Candace Owens. Oh man, Candace Owens, please. I know you don't watch this, but you are stupid. I don't even know what your role in life is. I don't know what you do. Like, you know, I remember you were bagging on women because they had blue hair. You told them just be normal. What the fuck is that? What kind of comment is that? Just be normal and do what I tell you to and express yourself through freedom. Anyways, um, so Candace Owen, who, once again, you have free speech to say whatever you want. I understand that I make enemies all the time. But if you sit down and have a conversation with me, as long as you take away your feelings, we just talk about facts and have a conversation, I won't belittle you. You know, you might feel dumb sometimes because you're like, oh, my God, I can't believe that. But that has nothing to do with me. That's because you now are more informed. You know, just like when you're a kid and you believe magic or you believe in Santa Claus. You know, eventually you're going to be like, Mom. Dad, you, you made me believe in Santa Claus. You guys are fucking assholes. I was making cookies. You're making me do slave labor for an invisible fuck. If you guys want cookies, just ask me for fucking cookies. You don't have to make up some bearded guy. Dude, give me a break, bro. You know what I mean? So, Candace Owens, back to her. You get the opportunity to say whatever you want to say. But if you're going to go be anti-vaccine and anti-COVID and talk all this shit... <coughs> I apologize. And then you're going to go to a uh, COVID vaccine area or a COVID um, test center and get tested. Um, that place might just tell you to fuck off, which they did. They said, hey, you called the pandemic. You're all over Fox News and St. Clair Media telling us how we're a piece of shit. So fuck off. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? So she didn't get the test, which I'm cool with. It's, you know. If business get to do what they want to do, then, you know, she can just tell her to fuck off. You know what I mean? That's just their choice. So, that's what it is. You know, um, stay represent Monica Lewinsky. You know, I tell you, Monica Lewinsky's crazy. We always knew that. You know, I was looking at a picture, though, yesterday, and um, she still has those uh, those crazy eyes. You know what I mean? 
Like, she actually looks halfway decent, kind of pretty today. Um, she lost some weight. You know, older women, when they start to get a little older, their body settles out. Their, everybody's diet. And, and then, obviously, people, when they get older in general, men and women, they tend to um, um, have a better career. So they able to eat more regular, regular diets, better food. Um, but women tend to take care of themselves, and men team, tend to drink and get fat. So, uh, but she's uh, doing well in her life, apparently, and uh, she's looking good. But she was talking about how we need to apologize to Britney Spears. Look, we just need to get a campaign for Britney just to start doing porno. You know what I mean? For, they, they have OnlyFans. Britney, look, you're great. But, like, if you see, I follow her on Instagram. If you see her on Instagram, she's going topless and shaking her butt. You know, she says weird shit all the time. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, just go ahead and get on the porno scene and do what you want to do. And I'm, do it with your boyfriend. That's cool. You know what I mean? But make the money. Do what you want to do. You're free. You're not held back. You know, like Monica Lewinsky, you know? Just go down. Get what you need. This is Monica Lewinsky talking. She said, sorry for holding you back. Go join the president. Man. I got another funny thing here I was looking at. Um, <clears throat> it's the uh, wages of celebrities. So I'm going to call this topic right here. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Um, I don't think it's going to be sung like that every time. Because that would probably be a terrible idea. But, um. There's this thing right here that says how much uh, celebrities' uh, income, not exactly income, but what their estimated net worth might be. So, I thought it was pretty interesting. Here's a couple names on here. And then, this, let me, I like to put it like in a scale. Like, if you, if you heard that, um, <clears throat> like, if you heard that Britney Spears had like $100 million, be like, I bet, man, that chick sold shitload of albums. She did tours and a fucking clothes and you know pictures of her you know poster with a picture on it oh yeah 100 million dollars sounds about right then you hear that hulk hogan makes let me see here his estimated net worth is 25 million grant he's lost a lot of uh lawsuits but he has 25 million like damn hulk hogan has less money than britney spears ain't that a motherfucker like that's some shit man wrote hulk hogan's a shit man i am a true american come on like Really? I was like, that was heartbreaking when I found that out, you know? I don't know how much money Britney Spears has, but put it in perspective, um, Hulk Hogan's net worth is um, $25 million, but Sean Hannity, that douchebag from uh, Fox News, uh, he made most of his money during the Obama era. It had He joined all these government programs, and he got all his property built and all this other stuff, but he made most of his money when Obama was president, and he is estimated to have two hundred million dollars. So you're gonna tell me that Hulk Hogan has twenty five million, and Sean Hannity has two hundred million? The fear mongering propaganda's comedic political analyst? He's not even a political analyst because he's given he's a political opinionist. He doesn't give any really true statistics or facts, and he actually went in court and declared his show as satire. You know, I don't know if you know this, but you know, Sean Hannity and Tucker Carlson are both satire shows. They they've told it before, and even Sean Hannity used to say all the time, um, "I just present the news as it's presented to me," which he means is they wrote me a script. I'm going to repeat the script that they told me to repeat, and if it gets you scared and buy more shit, great. If you want to you want to get scared, turn on Fox News, just watch it from like the Fox five and see how arrogant they are. And they're pushing fear and the world's over and Democrats going to kill you and all this other crazy stuff. It's like, it is wild out of control. Four hours of just from that. And then Heinity and then you go turn on Mark Levin. <whistles> Terrible man. Like that, that should be illegal. The way those people are, are pushing fear and the group that they're talking to, man, I feel sad for everybody who believes in that. It's like, man, doomed, you know, but here we go. Uh, OJ Simpson has $3 million. Yeah. I'm surprised you do have three million dollars, right? Three million dollars, and um, Hulk Hogan has twenty-five, and Sean Hannity has uh, two hundred million dollars. Sean Hannity, two hundred million dollars. Caitlyn Jenner um, has a hundred million dollars, and then uh, but that's but she got that in the divorce, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna say anymore. Anyways, um, yeah, so she has a gang of money, but I'm pretty sure she got that Kim Kardashian money. Oh, this one I, I'm cool with. Steve Harvey. He got $140 million, right? 
Steve Harvey be busting his ass. He's on TV like 10 times a day, Family Feud, going everywhere. His mustache alone, I think, is worth $40 million. Dang, you know? But then, like, um, Guy Fieri, you know Guy Fieri says he only has $8.5 I guess only is ridiculous, but, you know, he has restaurants and shit. thought he would be net worth a lot more, but I guess you know, that's how it works out, you know? But did you know, did you know, and um, here's some more people. Oh, yeah, uh, this is, I thought this was funny. So I don't know if this, how true this is, and I'm looking at this. I didn't do a lot of research on this, by the way. I'm, just, like, literally reading this right off a website. So um, they can take responsibility, and the lost website is Yahoo, I think, or no, it's someone else. So, anyways, they said the guy, his name is Rick Harrison. That's the main guy the, um, on um Pawn Stars, the dad, the bald guy, the main guy. They said his estimated net worth is five million. And the funny thing, Chumley, his net worth is also five million. So, hey, take that in the fucking ass, huh? Who would figure that shit? That's weird. But oh well. Yeah, did you know those people have that much money? But when you understand now, said when you know that the Fox News hosts are making that much money. You understand why they're pushing this fear on you. They're rich. They're making so much money. If someone told you, hey, man, I'll pay you $10 million for the next two years, $10 million a year, you're going to have $20 million in the next two years, all I need you to do is lie your fucking ass off. Here, I'm going to give you a script, and you're just going to read the script. It's a TV show. Don't tell anybody it's a TV show, and you're just going to read the script and Granted, you're going to scare a bunch of people, and maybe they might go fucking crash into the Capitol or building, but hey, get used to it. You know, it's a lot of money. You'll build a big old wall these people can't get to you, you know, so you got to know who these people are. You know, are they honest? I doubt it. They're uh, super dishonest. Sean Hannity, $200 million. Oh, yeah, this is another thing, too. I was talking to this guy, man. Yeah, he never responds. I, I love it. When I'm, I, I get on communication with people on these, um, um, Instagram and, uh, you know, ask people questions or we'll be going back and forth about a topic. And then I always tell them, um, come on the podcast. I'd love to have you on. We'll bring you on this video and then we'll have a conversation, whatever the topic might be. We'll go back and forth, have a little banter, real peaceful, you know, cause my, I'm always smiling and, uh, I don't get really angry about this bullshit, but we should have a conversation about it and let's talk and see what's going on. So, um, usually at that time I usually get blocked. Or um, people are like, you know, uh, d delete their comments or delete their page. So that just happens over and over again. But you're more than welcome to come here and have a conversation with me. Uh, hit me up like, like if you have a political point of view. It's funny, there's a guy here, as I said before, he's driving an electric car with a bumper sticker that says vote Republican. Right? Like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Come on, bro. What are you... Are you in the poorest city, in the fifth largest economy of the world. Come on. What is going on here, bro? Anyways, uh, what else? Car warranties. <sighs> man. I treat it like a girlfriend now. You know, I don't know if you ever, ever get this. I get these spam calls constantly. And they call. The first thing I do is I don't even let them talk to me anymore. I say, I know, I know, babe. I'm going to get the car warranty. I know. You called just yesterday. You called to tell me, get your car warranty. It's going to be up. I promise. I'll, I'll get it done. Here, I'll, I got to go, though. I'm at work. Bye. And I hang up. Or... <laughs> they call. First thing I'll say is, um, "Hey, bro. Um, I don't know if you know this. This, this is hang loose. Hang loose, bro. No. Um, I'll do this right here. Hey, bro. Um, <laughs> I'll say it, they call and I'll say, "Hey, what's up, man? I, I just got some great ass car warranty on my my car. It's a good warranty. Maybe I should tell you about it." And then they hang up on me. I'm like, "Oh, man, I wanted to talk to you about my car warranty, but they don't pay attention." So I think that's pretty funny. Mm. Um, what else? Yeah, Kanye and Drake. Uh, SMR. Uh, yeah, so uh, Drake, uh, no, Kanye uh, dropped his album Off the Grid. I like that song. It's pretty good. My kids, uh, I have two boys, 17 and 18, and they're deep into this music, and they love it. They love Kanye. They, they think he's spectacular, but they think... Uh, I think Kanye makes better music, and then Drake dropped his. I think he has better lyrics, and but they think Kendrick Lamar is better than both those guys on top of it. You know, and I can agree with that. But uh, Kanye's album, man, it's out there. It's you know not very many, too many hooks, not like catchphrases, and all the people he dogged out on the album. I hear Left and Riley stories like Shoulder Boy and whatnot, and Drake came out in the story too, getting you know 
fucking Kanye dogging him out. This is ridiculous. But uh, I listened to that one. I haven't fully listened to Drake yet because it dropped last night. Uh, my son, <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I have today off, so I don't have to wake up at my normal time. I wake up at 2.30 every day. Uh, but today is vacation, so I didn't wake up at 2.30. My son called me at 7 o'clock. I was sleeping. But he called me at 7 o'clock. What's up, Dad? Drake dropped an album last night. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, awesome. I'm like, sweet. I'll check it out today. And before, like, 9 o'clock, my son hit me like, check this song out. Check this song out. And just going off. It's great. I love my boys. I'm, I'm very lucky to have a uh, relationship with that. But, you know, uh, we sleep in a little bit sometimes. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, yeah, so both those albums are out. Um, uh, can you believe um, another... Fucking, I don't even care about this. I'm not even really talk about it. I don't care. Uh, here, uh, Shang Chai, Cheng Chi, Cheng Ji. Hey, another, um, who's this? Marvel? Another superhero movie. The oh, Marvel, Marvel talks. Asian superhero movie. Shang Chi as he takes on the world. That's not Asian voice. That's my um, um, dramatic. As he takes on the world, he has a sword and a stick, and with his martial arts technique and his Marvel background, watch him take on the world before the world ends. Marvel Comics. You know, I didn't know this guy even existed. Um, first, I thought when I saw it, I'm like, oh, sweet. It's like a Mortal Kombat film. Then it was like, oh, it's a comic book. I'm like, oh, man, there's a lot of a lot of comic book characters. Like, how many nerds are out there? Like, you know, like... Not that I'm just joking that everybody's a nerd, but I'm just like, like, can we just have Superman? But Superman, I guess, you know, find out Superman is just boring. I mean, no one likes Superman. Then, you know, I guess when you have a super penis, you can't really have a super woman, you know, unless she has a super vagina. But uh, that's like Donald Trump. If I build a 25 foot wall, how are you going to get over that? I guess a 25 foot ladder. But whatever. You know, I'll make a law. You can only sell ladders up to 20 feet. Hey, gotcha. Um. <laughs> So, yeah, so I don't give a fuck about this movie. You know, you know, I guess people out there like comic books, so more to you. Um, watch your movie. I'm happy you guys have those movies. But what happened to reality? You know what I mean? They're like ninjas. But, no, seriously, but like reality movies. We need more reality. I wrote a movie, and I got, I'm like working on another movie right now. But, um, uh, you know, reality is real, a good Reality concept movie, I guess. Maybe that's not what you're I guess Dave's a reality. Dave's not a reality movie. Yeah. Or Ted Lasso. Love that one. But yeah, I guess we want to be uh, in a fantasy world of uh, comic books and more to you guys like them. And they're, apparently they're pretty good. People love them. Um, I haven't watched any of them. You know, like, what's the one? Spider, My Choice, My Body, or M M Multiverse, or there's a lot of them. I don't know, you know. So, but. I'm not watching, um, but bring back ninja movies. What happened to that? Like ninjas are the shit. I thought like after Cobra Kai, like ninjas and then wearing a mask, like oh this is a perfect on point. You can market your mask, put out a ninja movie. You know you go out there, everybody just walking around and then start selling selling shoes where the the big toe is separated from the other toe because your big toe and the other toe should never touch. That's a ninja secret. I don't know if you know that. I learned that last time. So the big toe and the other toe should never touch. So, am I? Hope that's not. Nope, not poo poo. No, my fingers are dirty because I play in the dirt. Dirty hands, clean money. That's what it's about. Speaking of, I'm looking for a building. Um, I talked to someone today about a building. I made a couple phone calls. <clears throat> I don't know if it's going to go through, but it's really close to the studio, which I like. But we are looking for a building. So if you're out there, you know a building. Um, this is my studio now. This is pretty good. It works out for what I'm doing, but I want to. Uh, get something about 10 times bigger i have big plans big ideas and um big things are happening so i'm uh, getting people in here you, you can uh if you guys know anything about video editing or producing um or lighting that'd be great you don't know how long i spent today trying to get this lighting in this bokeh you know what i mean that's not the greatest of it but it's not bad but check this one out boom Anyways, so yeah, um, a host, um, we're looking for a couple hosts, I got the, I'm looking for a female host for Operation Midnight Crime Acts, I got a new episode coming out here, probably this weekend, um, what else is going on, um, comedy, tonight, today's Friday, if you're in town, go to DeChico's tonight, 7 o'clock, go find Danny Mitch on Instagram, buy some pic, uh, buy some tickets to there, 
Um, call the Chicos. Find out about that great comedy at Friday night in Old Town Clovis. Like, share, subscribe. Um, I'm going to save my football picks for um, Sideline Sports today, which I'll probably do maybe this evening. Um, I don't know if there's any fights this weekend. I don't think so. But once again, I want to thank my union brothers, IBW brothers, um, everybody out there in the Bay Area who's been so nice to me for me working out there. Um, the local boys are holding down the, the few union jobs that we have here and taking the sacrifice of pay just to be home. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, hey, everybody, you are worth more than they say you are. You know what your minimum payment is going to be for per hour? Whatever the fuck you want. Okay? So stop lowballing yourself. Go make a better yourself. Get some education. Be employable, not employed. Okay? Go be great. Get that money. Okay? We all support each other. We need the money. Let's get 50% of us over $50,000 a year. 50% of us make less than fifty grand. let us up that. Labor Day weekend. I believe in what we have going on. Love this community. Love our people. Like, share, subscribe. Hit me up. Peace out.